Welcome to your weekly UAS news update. We have four stories for you this week. Atel and a few others added to the DoD CMC list. DJI releases the Matrice 4. We have Walmart that ends their contract with DroneUp. And then lastly, the DoD expands Lance. Let's get to it. And first up this week, Atel has been added to the DoD Chinese Military Complex list or CMC list. Uh, if you're not familiar with the CMC list, it lists all the companies that are part of the Chinese military civil fusion strategy. And this is required by the 2021 NDA uh, document. Now, a major problem with this list is that it really doesn't give the public any reason for why a company is selected to be on that list. Now, Atel's inclusion on the list means means that it is now in the view of the government at the very least, a part of the Chinese military. Uh, we've previously seen this with, the, with DJI, who actually is currently suing the Department of Defense for removal from that list, uh, claiming that they lost contracts in business due to their inclusion. And we'll keep you updated if we hear more, but uh, this is an interesting start of 2025 for sure. Next up, DJI releases the Matrice 4 Enterprise and Thermal. And the Matrice 4, you may have guessed it, is actually the continuation of the Mavic 3 Enterprise lineup. Uh, DJI decided to name everything that's Enterprise now with the Matrice uh, moniker instead of using the Mavic. So Mavic will remain the non-Enterprise model when the Matrice becomes anything that's Enterprise. So uh, we saw this naming convention starting with the Matrice 3D, which was the one that was in the dock and then it will continue now going forward. So Matrice 4 will have the Matrice 30, 300, 350. There's even some rumors now of a Matrice 400, but we're not gonna talk about that today. Now let's talk about the specs. The Matrice 4 Enterprise, the non-thermal version, comes with a four-third CMOS sensor, a mechanical shutter, a one over 1.3 inch medium telephoto lens, that's 3X. We have a one over 1.5 inch CMOS uh, long telephoto lens, a 7X. There's a laser range finder with an effective range of 1800 meters or 5900 feet. And then the Matrice 4 thermal version uh, includes the same 3X and 7X sensor along with a 1 over 1.3 inch wide angle lens, so no 4 thirds sensor here, a 640 by 512 thermal imager with a higher uh, mode that increases the resolution up to 1280 by 1024. Uh, there's also a near IR ox light uh, for illumination up to 100 meters. Now both of these aircrafts weight at 1219 grams, 2.7 pounds, and then uh, they have a maximum flight time of 49 minutes, and then they include an integrated RTK module, an integrated AI function to identify a bunch of objects, and then they have an additional payload of 200 grams. This was designed specifically for search and rescue. The Matrice 4 series includes the map visualization of a search area, and then a cruise control that allows the pilot to multitask as the aircraft is continuing to fly. Now, as far as pricing, the Enterprise version is $47.99, and then the thermal version runs for $72.99, which is quite frankly, pretty close to what we have seen so far for similar models of older models. Now, we're looking forward to getting our hands on one of those and uh, give you a good test and let you know how good this thing is. All right, next up, Walmart has ended its contract with DroneUp, which is uh, really sad for DroneUp. Uh, in addition, Walmart has also exited as an investor of the company of DroneUp as a company, though it isn't clear if anyone has taken their place uh, to continue providing funding. Now, DroneUp confirmed that they are not shutting operations for right now, and they'll continue to work on other projects. This is sadly adding to DroneUp's bad luck over the years. Last year, they had a major layoff of folks so that they could focus on the contract for Walmart, and then now that contract is going away. So uh, hopefully anyone who's looking for jobs that was let go by DroneUp is able to uh, find something very quickly. And last up this week, Aloft has added several DoD installation to their Lance system. Uh, Aloft added 14 DoD sites across Texas, California, and Florida. Uh, in the past, these installations have required approval through the FAA drone zone, uh, making authorization a lot more complicated for both part 107 and for recreational operators. So uh, Lance is, is gonna be a lot quicker and a lot easier uh, in those areas. So make sure that you look at the list. We'll put a link to the, uh, the full list in the description. All right, that's all we got. We will not have a live on Monday as I will be on the road uh, flying to Florida for uh, a conference for an airplane, but we will be back on Friday for another news update and then also for a regular Friday in the community for happy hour. See you there. Mm -hmm.